Now I'm going to show you all the things that you can do with this interactive whiteboard. Okay? So the most uh, basic thing you want is to write on the screen, right? But before I run the interactive software, I want to tell you that you can just uh, walk up to the panel and uh, start writing immediately, like this. Okay, select the pen. Now, write whatever information you want on the screen. So, no matter in Android or Windows system, and then no need to open any software, you can just uh, write notes directly on the screen, even when you are playing the videos. Now, you also got uh, basic functions like eraser. Okay, and the screen shoot here. And then notice that this screen support multi-touch. Okay, has 32 points of touch, in fact. So you can have some students coming to the panel and writing at the same time. Now let me run the interactive software Ubermaid. And it's both Android and the Windows system compatible. Uh, but I'm going to run in the Windows system because the Windows is mostly used for the teachers. And actually, it's easy and quick for you to switch between two operation systems like this. Okay, you can switch to Android system anytime you want, or switch to other sources uh, like the laptop, computer monitor, or even a TV. Now, this is the Ubermate. Let me run the software. Okay, this is the main interface of the Ubermate. Now, look at the icons here. Okay. Let me start with a pen. We provide different kinds of pen for you. The hard point, the soft pen, which is the brush, and the laser pen, highlighter, and other kinds. You can change the line thickness and the colors and the write on the screen. And then you can use the highlight, okay, not to highlight the world. Or use the laser pen to circle it. So the laser pen is basically for the temporary marking. It will flicker four times and uh, disappear. Now in the select mode, you can just uh, click it as an object to move around on the screen. I'll change the format. Uh, like the line colors, transparency, and the thickness. Also, after writing, you can just uh, use your hand palm as an eraser to clear the writings. Okay, or select the object here to clear. Or simply slide to clear all the writings. Now, another advantage of, of this kind of the interactive whiteboard is that you are able to replay the pages. So everything you have done, you just done on this page, you can replay. Let me show you. Now, let me change the background first. Okay, I'm going to use this. And uh, let me write some simple letters on the screen. Okay, now this is the page replay button here to play as fast or as slow as you want for all the motions you just done on the screen so this is quite handy if you want to replay the information of the letters or if you are teaching foreign languages like uh, difficult characters of the Chinese or Japanese now you can also type the text onto the screen here the text Okay, to insert the text. Now just tap on the screen and select the font. Any font that was installed in this device you can use. Okay, let me select the number one. And select the size, colors of the letter. Now you need to bring up the soft keyboard. Okay, and then to type the word. Now, once again, you can tap on it as an object to move around on the screen. 
Okay, I'll change the format, of course. Now you also got handwriting recognition. Handwriting uh, here, and you can write on the screen. And it will format that into the type text form. Okay, see? Now you can also select a variety set of the shapes here. You can choose one you want to use, and uh, this will allow you to drag the shape onto the screen. Okay. You can alter the shape. Okay. Or rotate as you want. Or change the format, like the outline thickness colors and then you can also fill the color into this shape go to the color box here okay choose the different colors to fill into the shape now during the lesson you can also insert the images or photos or any document in the software here insert Okay, select the images. Uh, let me put some beautiful images for you. Uh, flowers. Okay, you can move around, uh, zoom in or zoom out. Let me put some bees. Okay, and the butterfly. And for these images, you can clone it. Okay, now you got two. Also, you can mirror it. Okay, now you got three. And then you can flip it. And then move on the screen. And you can choose which image is on the top layer or bottom layer. Now if you want to, you can also group these images together. Just need to drag a box over these images. Okay, now this is the group button. Okay, now this is one whole thing. Okay, you can move around or save it for later use. You can also put the hyperlink into the images or objects to play the sound or videos for your students. Now, for instance, I want to teach a lesson about the World War II, okay? Um, let me put the images on the screen first. Now, uh, I want to play a video for my classroom. Now, I just need to insert the hyperlink here. Okay, let me find the video. Now, once you uh, once you tap on the images, you can play the videos for your students. In these conditions, thousands of with full screen or just the small area on the screen. And the German army are at the gates of Moscow. One last push, and so we finish. And you can also you can hear the sound because this device got two. 15 watt speakers on the back and plus one bass speaker so the sound performance is rounded and much great now during the lesson you can also open the documents in our software here so any format can be supported including excel word PowerPoint, PDF, all the format can be support. Now let me just open a PDF file. Okay, it's loading. Now you've got all the pages of this PDF file here.
And of course, you can write notes on it. So another thing that you can do in our, in our whiteboard is that you are able to uh, bring things in with the document camera. Uh, go to the tools here. Okay, this software already got some integrated tools ready to go. And this is the camera. Now, it's connected to this document camera here. So as you can see, what I got here is a brochure of our, of our products. Okay, and uh, of course I can write notes. And uh, take pictures. And use this picture. in the software. We also got some useful tools here, like the snapshot, okay? To screenshot with small area of full screen and uh, the capture the captured images will be showing in the new page. Now we also have other uh, tools like the screen recorder here. Okay, to recording anything that is on this screen, and uh, uh, let me show you. Let me just uh, hit the record button. As you can see on the top, it's recording now. Now let me show you other small tools we have: the calendar, the clock and the time counter okay these are these are uh, very useful for the classroom and of course you can switch to the desktop anytime you want okay to run the browser to go to the website now let me just stop the recording Okay, and you can save these uh, recording videos in the device. Let me save to the desktop. Okay. As you can see, the video is here. So all the process that I just done has been uh, recorded in this video. You can use this video like uh, uploading to the YouTube uh, teacher tube or your own uh, car service. We also have some useful tools to, uh, for the different subjects here, the, the subject tools. For the mathematics lesson, you can use the ruler, okay, triangle ruler, the projector to draw the lines. Or use the compasses to draw the circle. You can select the line colors. Okay. And you can also uh, insert the formula. And you can also uh, make the coordinate. Okay, like this. It's very useful.
and make the function map. You need to insert the formula. Okay, like this. And even make some math exercises for students. Okay, start the question. Okay, bring up the keyboard. And uh, ch check the answers here. Now, for English lesson, you can also make a word puzzle like this. And for chemistry lesson, you can show the whole periodic table of the elements uh, for the students. And you can also insert the chemical equation on the screen. Okay, again, bring up the soft keyboard. And uh, we, uh, we already got some uh, equations here you can use. Okay. Now for the geography lesson, you can show the whole solar system. You can see all the planets uh, in the solar system. Now, uh, tap on the Earth. You can see the detailed information of the Earth. It's a 3D map. You can also show other kinds of the map and the information about this planet here. <coughs> 